My name is EI. I've come all the way down from Wales, Cardiff, to be a part of this protest. Currently, what we're seeing behind us is a protest outside the Egyptian embassy here by Palestinians, Egyptians, and many people around the world. Currently, the situation in Palestine, as we should know by now, it's been four months since the constant attacks and indiscriminate bombings on the Palestinian civilians who have been caught up innocently in this savage ethnic cleansing and genocide that we've been seeing in front of us. Now, how does Egypt come into this question? Well, Egypt is a neighbor with Palestine. And since the beginning of the attacks, Egypt immediately sealed off the, on the Rafah border. That means essential humanitarian aid and access cannot enter Gaza to reach the Palestinian people. And it means those who are trying to flee from the violence, from the indiscriminate bombings and genocide, cannot do so, essentially keeping them sitting there in the most dangerous place in the world. As you can see, after the ICJ ruling that put forward that Israel is complicit in genocide, it also means that the neighbors around them are also complicit in that, along with Western backers. How, you may ask? Well, it's one thing to drop bombs to directly kill civilians. It's another thing to stop access into not allowing humanitarian aid to enter all people to leave. This is one of the biggest killers that we've seen. The UN, 
RWA has been cut in its funding as of recent by Western backers. That means more humanitarian and aid and access. The trucks that are supposed to enter Gaza will now diminish even mu much more now. However, now we may actually see something that could be truly more catastrophic than the situation we're seeing now. Egypt and Israel share a close history with each other based on their proximity. Though this history is mired by violence and conflict with each other, still the Egyptian government has found a way to be complicit in this world-turning event since the attacks on the Palestinian people. Yet, by the looks of it, the tide has turned in favor of the Palestinian people, and it's time that the Egyptian government and the Egyptian embassy here in London does something about it for humanity's sake, for everybody involved. There's now about 30, 40,000 dead. The numbers are, I'm guessing, much higher. Official statistics say 25,000. However, there's a lot unaccounted for. As such, this problem, this catastrophe is of the highest importance and priority. And that's why these people are out here today. Thank you.